What's up, what's up guys so i did a video recently on safaricom new money investment platform which is a new unit trust that can make you good money and good returns and i'm happy when i did the video most people did come back and comment with a lot of things that i wanted to address in this separate video because it's very important and i really appreciate those who came and did comment on that video on a factor or an issue with regards to fees so on this video i'm just going to be focusing on the fees because if you're going to be investing one of the most important things, like I always say, is to consider the fees and the returns you're getting from the investment. Because sometimes you may have that hype and run towards an investment, but in real sense, you actually don't know what you're getting out of that investment. So I'm really happy that people are so keen and they were listening and they were very keen on their money and they were able to point out the fact that I did say 15% of the investment fund. Now that could be a wrong assumption and that also comes from part of Safaricom not being clear on this fact. They actually didn't make a mistake on that because when they spoke about their fees, they did not also talk about the taxes as well. And in this case, the 15% withholding tax. Now, in this video, I'm gonna clarify everything and to make sure that when you're investing in Mali or Safaricom Investment Fund, you understand all the fees and you know exactly what you need to do. And that's gonna help you know exactly what kind of returns you're expecting from the investment so that we don't just go saying, oh, you're gonna get a lot of money, but in real sense, you might not be getting so much money. Once again, thank you to those who did comment. And now this is a follow up video to make sure that you know and understand the fees. If you understand the fees and the return, then the investment is good. If you don't understand the fees, then that's a bad investment. And now lots of Kenyans are waking up and they are very aware of if I put this money, how much am I getting out of it? And they are not taking any prisoners. They are so sure like, oh Ken, if I'm gonna be paying 15% and earning an interest of 10% useless investment, I'm not gonna do it. And they were like, Ken, that's a no, no, I'm not doing that investment. That's a useless one. And they were right. There's no way you're going to be paying 15% on the investment fund, the amount invested, while you're earning a 10% interest. It won't make any sense, right? So you earn 10% in one year, you pay 15% of what you invested, you're losing money, a waste of time, plus other fees as well. So again, that was just an oversight on the part of the video. I was actually supposed to mention it differently, but I realized that's a very important point that would require me to clarify because it's a new investment. You don't want people to run away because of something that is not as clear and something that can actually be clarified properly and done using a proper calculator so that we can see the returns. So what we're gonna do in this video is basically to just go through it and see what you're going to pay in case you invest, let's say 100,000 Kenya shillings, which is an equivalent of $1,000, okay, on an average, on a, standard, on a standard conversion rate of 100. But we're just going to work with Kenya shillings, 100,000 as the standard. <laughs> Guys, here at Kent's Money Matters, we talk about the money mindset, how to make that money, how to enjoy that money, how to manage that money, how to invest that money, and how to assure yourself of a lifetime of income, basically financial freedom. Mali was in introduced. I did a video. You can watch the video up here. It's a very good video telling you what investment platform you need to use, how you can start making money with your safari called money, and how to even register and start this process of investing. But something came up. Fees, fees, fees. People are complaining about fees. So despite the oversight, people are also like, this is so much fees so many things that you need to you know to pay for but again it's also good to enumerate them or iterate them and be sure that how much are they actually how much are you actually paying therefore you get to know how much you expect in return so you don't either avoid the investment completely or run into the investment without very clear information and tangible results one we're going to be looking at the fees expected and two we're going to be looking at how much you'd actually get in return if you had a hundred thousand Kenya shillings invested. Some of the fees which are actually listed when you go to the terms and conditions, I hope my editor is gonna put this on the screen, but some of the fees that are listed on that is number one, we have the management fees. So the fund manager's fees. So these funds are actively managed. And according to Investopedia or anywhere you go to, an actively managed fund requires someone who is paid, a professional who manages that fund is paid and they charge you a fee on that investment. How do they charge you this? We have to be very clear, right? So. Safaricom is going to be using Genji's Capital to manage this um, investment as the management fund or the management company. And they're going to be charging you 2% per annum. Now, this is usually charged out of assets under management, AUM, assets under management. So in this case, they're going to be looking at how much are they managing for you at that particular time, and they're going to be charging you 
2% of that amount. In that case, you already know the first deduction is the fund managers. Then we have the second one, which is basically the trustee fees. Now, as a trustee, you are liable or basically you take charge of certain assets. You manage certain assets on behalf of a different company. So the trustee here is KCB Bank. That's where the money is going to be. And they're basically acting as the trustees. The one who holds or takes care of all these assets that people will be investing in. Or this, this whole investment, basically. So the trustee here is going to be charging a 0.2% per annum. And again, this is charged based on the amount in the account. So assets under management once again. So that's 0.2%. There will be a custodial fees. Now a custodial fees is whereby a bank can appoint another bank as a custodial of that money. Custodial is just basically to keep keeping assets or keeping something that is valuable. So in the layman language or in the simplest language possible. The custodial fees in this case is going to be 0.1%. 1.5%. There was something that Safaricom said that doesn't make sense is that it is based on a minimum of 10,000 per month. Now that is something that's confusing to most people. If they say that it could be because of the agreement between the trustee and the custodian. It does not concern you as an investor. All you need to look at is 0.15% per annum. Forget about the part where Safaricom said it's subject to a fee of 10,000 Kenyan shillings per month. That could be a fee they are charged you know, they are charging between themselves, which is the trustee and the custodial bank, because they are two different ones. So again, that's something that most people are asking me about. Forget about that part. Focus on trying to understand how much you would be paying, and that's 0.15%. Now, if you do the calculation well, let me just look at my paper here that I used. I hope I've done this calculation well, and if you think I haven't, let me know. We can do it again and again and again. Remember, sometimes mathematics can be a bit tricky in terms of are we looking at it the same way? It's about perspectives. So let's say, let's look at the deductions. I've not gone to the withholding tax, which was the main bone of contention yet. But before I go there, I just want to tell you, if you had 100,000 Kenya shillings and they were charging you um, management fee or a fund fee of 2%, that would be 2,000 Kenya shillings. Am I right? I hope so. Uh, then you will be having 0.2% as trustee fees, and that's actually 200 and then they will be charging you a custodial fee of 0.15% per annum, which in this case will be 150 Kenya shillings. So if you look at all that amount, you have 2,000 as the management fee, you have 200 as the trustee fee, and you have 150 as the custodial fees. Now I'm hoping my editor will put a calculator here and calculate these things very clearly and show these calculations. Uh, please, please, editor, do that. And that comes to around 2,000. 350. So if you look at 2,350 as the fee you are paying out of your 100,000, you know what you're left with. This basically just shows us how much would be taken away before you earn anything. We are assuming you haven't earned anything yet. So out of your 100,000, that 2,350, right? 2,350 Kenya shillings is gone. If I look at my calculator here, 100,000 minus 2, 1,350 leaves you with 97,650. Now 97,650, and then you earn an interest of 10% of your 100,000. Remember, we're looking at 10% of the 100,000. Right now, we're just removing the calculations. But if you earn 10%, that would have given you 110,000 Kenya shillings. So 110,000, you subtract 2,350, and that gives you 107,000. Now remember we still have the withholding tax which has been the main bone of contention and the withholding tax is 15% of the interest earned. Usually withholding tax is based on capital gains. It's based on how much your assets or your capital or your investment has appreciated. So that, that's where the bone of contention was. 15% of the interest. So 15% of, let's say, you earn 10,000 in that case. How much would that give you? I believe I did the calculation, and that's around 1,500 you're going to be paying. Not around, but exactly 1,500 you're going to be paying to the government based on the appreciation of your assets. If you pay 1,500 plus your 2,350 gives you a total of... Um, so 1,500 with holding tax plus all the other deductions that we've done so far, which came to 2,350, that comes to 3,850. If you minus that from your 10,000, which you've earned, you have 6,150 as extra money. Then you add it to your 100,000 and you have your money. You'll have 106,000, 
150. 106,150 bob. I hope that's a very clear calculation and if I've missed anything, that should be a very small thing. But I think, I believe, I know, I've done a very good calculation just to show you the fees really. And this thing will vary based on a lot of stuff. Like they said, even in their terms and conditions, these things do change. The trustees sometimes charge you differently, the custodians uh, charge you differently, the fund managers fee can change. Uh, transactions are there that sometimes are charged and they don't tell you about or they don't make it clear. So some numbers can change, but I just wanted to show you the main fees that you'll be paying. So on 100,000, you'll be going away with 106,150. So you'll have paid around 4,000. So the higher you go or the more you invest, the higher the returns, of course. But depends on what you think, it's still a good investment, a very good investment. Again, if, depending on what you're comparing it with. So I hope this has been helpful, guys. It's just to show you the fees that you're going to be paying with Safaricom Mali Investments. Let me know if you now understand. Let me know if there's any gray area and I will explain in the comment section or I can even do another video if you guys want. You're my bosses, right? Thank you, guys. Have a lovely one and see you next time.